<laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? I'm with my friend Tim from Locals, and we're getting, we're getting an awesome deck profile today. What deck is this? Uh, you could call it Ghost Tricks. You could. Uh, the idea behind this deck is I took a magic theory called the mid-range idea, which is that a deck is neither both completely uh, offensive nor defensive. So when it plays its opponent's offensive deck, it's defensive. When it plays a defensive opponent's deck, it's offensive. Let's see what this is all about. All right, so Mary grabs Jingashi, who grabs Spectre and Jack Frost. Uh, cool part about this deck is that you'll never get, you really won't get hit. Uh, just, you know, bam, bam. Say your opponent drops and goes mid rash. Well, they, you know, leave yourself open. Uh, take 23, drop him, puts mid rash what, 12, I think, is his defense? Uh, this allows you to keep the uh, like not dying combo up because every time uh, she dies, she will grab him and through uh, she, uh, she dies whenever she grabs him, you can instantly go ahead and put him in her place to draw a card. All right, so there's them. Two kaikus. Uh, really, all you want to do is apply pressure and make sure your opponent's graveyard is never useful. Winged Rhinos, I grabbed two more level four cards. I need more normal summons. Uh, I want to play uh, different traps than I have, but he just lets you know. Comes back, put a count deeper in him. Uh, Ryo to stop uh, Hedgehog, to stop um, all the uh, spell books, stops, uh, mirror match stops. What else is there? Uh, guess she's from going off, it stops. It, it, it's a really good card. Uh, one DD assailant. Uh, at any point you draw him, you instantly have an out. Anything bigger than him. One Gale puts Nephilim at 15. It puts a Midrash at uh, 1150. Two Crane Cranes make rank threes. Uh, this deck allows you to uh, constantly go back through your uh, Ghost Trick cards, through uh, Dula Hands. Uh, what's his name? And Alcards. cards. One Gores. One lad, Caius, Jinzo. Uh, usually you're not going to summon him because you're playing something else, but if you're going for a game push, just dropping Jinzo and having uh, any of the Ghost Tricks uh, down is an instant 28, and that's that's a nice number. You're not about winning your first turn. Sweet! Magics. Game controller. Puts things in defense. Book of Moon. Puts things face down and in defense. Uh, beginning of the end. It's a nice draw card. Scapegoat. You don't die. Soul Taker. You kill your opponent's monster. Sword of Revealing Light. You know? It's pretty cool. Dark Hole. Creature Swap is nice. Say you take your opponent's Midrash. Opponent's nice to go to Nephilim to kill it. One day of peace when you're down. Uh, one of ST and one Soul Exchange. Sweet. Three D prisons, because you can run three. It's a nice card. One torrential, you know. Curse seal, uh, secrets, fate, uh, you know. Fusion keeps going. Bottomless, you know. They don't go to the graveyard. They don't get effects and shit. Compulse also don't get effects and shit. Uh, the exceeds I have on me are two dual hands and an engineer. You know, I'm done. That's all he needs. All right, so this was a very interesting build because this seems like it's kind of built in a more classic kind of one of style way. Um, what was like your thought process going into that? Uh, the idea is that every car that stops you from dying lets you continue. So instead of worrying about like having like, a comeback, if I can just you know build a comeback after two turns and not one turn or even three turns, then you know I have a way to get into my deck. I have a way to grab more cards because the idea is go back to mid range is that you want to see a lot of cards and a lot of that just could be from passing. You know, uh, constantly uh, taking uh, go tricks out of your deck, speeds up your deck. So every turn, you know, you're drawing two cards, I mean, not one, better, and you continue from there. Alright, if you guys like the deck profile, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and give some feedback in the comments. Thanks again, Tim.